lovely out, aren't you? We've, we've heard you moan, really, for quite a while <laughs> about not wanting to be in that house. So yeah. now you're out. Yeah. Are you at, at all gutted that you're not there for... It's only really 48 more hours for the I final. I know, yeah. Um, no, you know, to tell you the truth, I'm so proud of myself just for making it this far. You know, I came all from the, you know, away from America, and, you know, I just... I, I didn't think that I was going to make it this far, so I'm thrilled, and I'm proud of myself. When, it, when you knew who was up for nomination tonight, did you did you guess it would be you going? Is there, are there other people that you thought may have came, come out before you? Um, I did, yeah. I, um, you know, I just thought that, I, you know, it's so hard to predict what's going to happen, you know? Yeah. I had no idea that Danielle was going to go out. I didn't think Ron was going to leave. I definitely didn't think Dustin or Bruce was going to leave. So I didn't know, but I was hoping I was, hoping I was going to leave. <laughs> Obviously thrilled and overjoyed and so proud of myself. What's it like being out of the house? You it's seem so you seem quite overwhelmed by everything. I, it's like a surreal dream because I've been locked up and cooped up in this house for three weeks without seeing anybody else. The same people every day, day in and day out. Um, you know, so it's just so surreal and it's refreshing to see other people in different rooms, especially my sweet husband. I so love you. Doug is in the audience yeah. and he has a, a very large bunch of balloons with him. Uh, so, <laughs> if anybody's wondering what that is, Doug is sat beneath them and they are supporting us. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you said, um, this is your first time overseas. Yeah. What a holiday destination to pick. Have you learned, do you think you've learned anything about us Brits by being in that house? Um, you know, Paris. I would love to, you know, see Paris and go to Paris. But, um, but no. why, why did you pick the Big Brother house? This is this your first holiday out yeah. of America? Yeah. It's um, a very odd holiday destination. It is, I know. But, you know, I thought that it, was, it would be a great experience. And I've really grown into, you know, I feel like I've, I've just grown into a woman now. You know, like when I came in the house, I was only 18. Um, and I've, I just have, you know, learned so much. I've gained so much. I'm... I didn't realize that I was that strong to be house for three weeks. So I just feel more like a woman, and I'm so glad that this was my first time at, at, at the country. It was a great experience. I will never forget it. I'm truly grateful. I would imagine one of the great things for you in the house was Lauren, because you had a fantastic friendship with her. Um, why do you think the two of you click so much? Because I love people who are out there, who are accepting and different, and she's not afraid, obviously. I mean, look at her, to be herself. Um, she's such a sweetheart, and I truly see her for who she is. Um, quite a few of the housemates commented after about the first week that, that maybe she smothered you a little bit, you know, because it was just the two of you. And just yeah. after that, we did kind of see you break away for a couple of days and yeah. go and mingle with the rest of the house, because up yeah. until that point, you had really only been with Lauren. Right. Did you ever feel that? Did you ever feel that you, you were kind of maybe being stifled by her? Um, I didn't feel smothered. I just think that, you know... She, you know, obviously felt a connection with me, and I had no problem with it, but, you know, then again, it is nice to, you know, intermingle with other people, yeah. and I, you know, was craving that, but by all means, I adore Lauren, and there was no way I felt smothered anyway. Okay. I miss her already. <laughs> um, are you going to keep in contact with her? Of course. Did say that you, we did see you said that you would uh, exchange yeah. details with her. Yeah. I want to invite her over to our house, if that's okay with you. <laughs> I already invited her. <laughs> eye to eye with, and that was Mario in the beginning. Um, the two of you, you never really kick it off, and then all of a sudden, Big Brother were like, let's put together the people that are having difficulties, and right. you were tied together right. for a whole day. Yeah. So do you feel like you kind of broke down some of those barriers of why you didn't get on, and, and do you feel like you got to know him a little bit better? Not really, it was kind of a weird way to bond. Um, 